and you are looking live at one of the gyms of the Smoky Mountain Smoky Stadium in Kodak, Tennessee, as we get ready to play our second game of the day in the 2021 Pilot Flying J South Atlantic Conference Baseball Championship between the seven-seeded Coca Cobras and the six-seeded Lenore Ryan Bears. We'll go ahead and look at the starting lineups first for Coker. The Cobras come in with a 15 and 20 record and leading off will be Cam Murray in center field. Shortstop will be Phil Griffer, then Riley Hall in left. Drew Klasner, the all honorable mention team member for the DH spot, he's in second today. Right fielder's Corey Listing with Cody Hanna behind him at first base. Jackson Williams at DH, the man with the rocket for an arm, Brian Castillo at catcher and Jake Lightbrand at third base. We'll look at the starting pitcher for the Noron Bears entering at 23-17, at 19-13 in seconds. Alex Shirazi, which may surprise a couple of our Bear fans here, as he threw 10 innings and 164 pitches against Newberry just a week ago. He comes in with a 4-3 record, 2-6-5 ERA, looking to stave off elimination here against the Coca Cobras in Game 2 of the Savannah Conference Tournament. Rozzi's first pitch is away for a ball to Murray. Murray bank 264 on the season, 10 RBIs and 22 strikeouts. Rozzi will deal and it's right in there for a strike. So we get started a little bit after 7.48 p.m. It's 57 degrees here in Kodak, Tennessee. A cool and could be blustery night here in the Smokies. The 1-1 one, one pitch bounce fouled off right in front of us, 1-2. and two. Shirazi enters at second in the conference in strikeouts. That was bid for honorable mention team memberships. Has 59, looking for number 60 here. 1-2 pitch just gets it, does Cam Murray and we'll continue the battle here. So Shirazi coming off that 10-inning performance. Gave up five hits, three runs, two were earned, three walks, and nine Ks against Newberry. Unfortunately, the Bear, uh, the Wolves excuse me, would pull away in the 11th inning with three runs to win that matchup. And two Mitch is in the dirt, and it'll be tied up two and two. Glad you could join us here today with virtue of Carson Newman winning our first game earlier in the day over Mars Hill. The winner of this game will play Catawba tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. So a quick turnaround for both of these teams. 2-2 two, two pitch, that one sky high to second base. And the right. <laughs> will Jones will call off Wade Kuda for out number one. First inning. Good start for Shirazi. You gotta wonder if the leash will be short on him tonight or if they're willing to let him go the distance. First pitch to Griffer is down in front of that one. You know, Ron, you gotta be sweating a little bit with Shirazi having these long at bats already. Gotta hope he can get in and get out real quick after what he went through last week against Newberry. That one's in the dirt, one and two. Top two strikeout leaders in the conference both play for the Bears. Rozzi's number two with 59, looking at number 60 here, and out number two. Check swing, they'll look, and on first base umpire Trevor Henson says he held up. Our umpire crew today, Frank Barlow behind the dish, Trevor Henson first, Andy Glint second, Jason Klingler at third. We got a replay, look at this. And just held up. Did Griffer, so stay off by another day. Right down the middle, Griffer knew it. Their strikeout number 60 on the year for Shirazi. He just blew it right by him. Look again. Blew it right by him. Gripper instantly knew 
Yep, that's strike three. It's two away here for Riley Hall. A look at a strike Hall. Batting just 196 on the season, but does have 16 RBIs and three home runs. Home base percentage of 347 is nine for nine stolen bases. Settling for a ball. Hall's been one of those guys, if he can get on base, he's dangerous. The problem is he has to get on base. So any way you can get on for Riley Hall would be great. Give the Cobra, Cobra some life here early. That one's ripped to right field, and it will go right into the arms of the waiting Will Jones. So, Cobras go down to one, two, three in top of the first inning. The Bears will have their chance to bat coming up in the next half inning. We'll give you their starting lineup and look at the Coker pitching staff when we return here on the SAC Digital Network. As we go to Murphy Flood, and Murphy, We'll talk to you about this ninth inning. You know, you come up, you need to have a clutch situation there. You pull a ball right over the third baseman's head. What were you seeing on that pitch? Uh, you know, I was just sitting back on a fastball, and he ended up throwing me a slider. And I just, you know, just stayed on it and just drove it. And I mean, we just did a good job of just passing the stick on and uh, just really kept ourselves alive right there and gave me a chance. And it was a fun one. It was a fun one. This was a game, you know, your offense kind of struggled early, but you scored six runs in the final three innings to come back and win this one. You know, were y'all just struggling with the starter and just able to kind of calm down, or what What was it your team going through during this one? Yeah, I think we just got ahead of ourselves a little bit, and then we, we uh, calmed down, gathered our thoughts, and really just talked, and then and we know we can swing it, and we just showed it right there, and just, like I said before, just keep the, keep the sticks moving. So that's what we did. You're going to move on tomorrow. You have another elimination game tomorrow against either Carson Newman or Wingate. You know, what's your team's mindset going to have to be tonight to celebrate this win but get ready for tomorrow? Yeah, we're going to celebrate just for a little bit, and then we got to lock back in, big one. Uh, you know, just one game at a time, one pitch at a time, and just, just fight, and just keep going. Murphy, thanks for your time. Congrats on the win. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good one. You too. That was Murphy Flood as the Pioneers come in clutch. As Flood goes two for four with two RBIs, Mitch McCain goes four innings with five strikeouts, allowing just two hits to win seven, win seven, two, Three. Coker is eliminated from the tournament. Tusculum will face the winner of Wingate and Carson Newman tonight. Next game up is Catawba and Newberry. Newberry trying to stay alive in this tournament. Stick it here on the SAC Digital Network. We'll be right back soon. After a big first inning for Newberry, and they'll send Matthew Campbell out, the senior left-hander from Columbia, South Carolina, and Dreer High School. This year, Campbell has gone three and two-thirds innings. As a record of 1-0, giving up just one run, no hits, no earned runs, two walks, two five strikeouts. So Campbell was the reason the Wolves knocked off the number four team in the country, the North Greenville Crusaders, last week for their first win of the season. And Tyler Thompson will lead off for the Eagles. The last game, Thompson went just one for two with a walk. As the Eagles only recorded three hits earlier today against Newberry. This is a team coming in that was feeling it offensively. So that one's fouled. It was a four game winning streak before the last game. Eagles were reaching base at a clip of 457 with 10 different different players using at least two base hits and had scored 43 runs in the last four games. They scored one run on three hits as that one big swing by Thompson. And he's down 0-2. It's a Newberry team that has been very successful the past few seasons. They're projected to finish second in the sack this year. They went 18-6 and six last season before COVID-19 pandemic ended the season. That one's fouled off into the bleachers. Since 2019, Newberry is 60 and 24 overall coming into this game. 
That one's out there for ball one. So the Newberry Wolves in a pattern of consistency, if nothing else, under coach Russell Triplett. Gamble looks the deal with a one-two pitch. Thompson reaches out, so we've got a battle here with the first batter of the day, Matthew Campbell. One-two pitch from Campbell. Thompson, and they're going to call that one a strike. Thompson not happy with that one, but it looks like he may have just painted the corner. That's a strike call. Matthew Campbell starts off dealing. First strike of the day on his first batter seen. The replay. Just in there for a call strike as Henry Jackson comes up the bat. That one's also in there for a strike. Jackson last game 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. So it had a heck of a play in right field to get the lead runner and stop the damage from Newberry in an inning where the Wolves had scored a run. That one misses 1-1. One one. Defensively for Newberry in the outfield from left to right, Harris, Terrence, and Butler. Infield from left to right is Bauer, Allman, Santiago, and Orr. And Clements is behind the plate. 1-1 one, one count. That one's popped up and foul just over our heads. Crowd considerably smaller for this second game, but of course spread out and socially distanced. This is the first Saturday series for the Eagles. This is the first time we've really seen a crowd at the Silver Diamond Baseball Complex. 1-2, way outside for Campbell there. And he'll shake that one off and try to get here on this 2-2 pitch. Two-two -two pitch to Jackson. Campbell already has one strikeout today. That one's ripped to the outfield. It's going to be a hard play, and it will get down. Jackson rounding first, and he will hold up there. So Henry Jackson gets his first hit of the day, and the first hit of the day for the Eagles here in the bottom of the first inning. And Zach Bowes will step in to the plate. And Bose, last time up, or last game, excuse me, went 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. That ball will miss outside for ball one. Jackson is 0 for 1 and stealing today, or stealing this season. But it's five runs score, so there is some speed on the base paths for the Eagles. Campbell knows about that, and we'll check with Orr. One zero pitch coming from Campbell. A lot slower than Scoria Jr. As Sorcia Jr. did in the first game. More deliberately. Already up to his 14th pitch. And the Wolves will check Jackson back to first. The 
one one pitch. Send swing, a wire to right field. That one's going to get down. Jackson rounds second. He will keep going as that one gets all the way to the wall. He's rounding third. He gets down. A throw is not in time. Henry Jackson on his horse beats out the throw with an amazing slide, and that's an RBI triple for Bose. Jackson was gone from the get-go. He did not slow down at all, and a great throw from Butler, but not in time as Jackson gets underneath the tag of Clements to get the first run of the afternoon for Carson Newman and make it a 3-1 game. And with Parkinson up the bat, he takes that one for a strike. This one could get out of hand real quickly for the Wolves. They are not careful here. Parkinson batting 625 this year with three home runs. That one misses one and one. Bo's looking to score his fifth run of the year. Parkinson can get this one to the outfield. Slices that one, and it's knocked back in front of us, one and two. Big difference so far for both teams, batting-wise, at least in the early goings. Newberry was hitting four for five. Carson Newman, two for three from the plate. It took a while for both teams to get going. But once Newberry got going, they're good. Reaches out, hits that one, and that's going to be an out. But Parkinson does his job and brings in another run, and the lead is cut to three to two. Reached out and tapped that one. Just enough to where Santiago couldn't make the throw home. And it scores those. Now bring up Harrison Travis to the dish. 0 for 3 in the last game, but had an RBI. It's in there for a strike. Looking to See if he can keep this going. Carson Newman already has two hits today. Remember, they had three in the last game total. That one's outside for a ball. One and one. And these are the first two hits Campbell's given up this year. One one pitch. That one's chopped to short. Allman will handle it. Throws it across and leaping grabbing. And they're gonna say that Orr got the tag on in time. So the Eagles strike back with two runs of their own. They trail just three to two. We'll look and see. And bang bang play goes the way of the Wolves. Three two lead for Newberry. And to the second inning here on the Eagle Sports Network. That one's in the dirt, gets away from Bergman! Running on his crawl, he slides in safe! That is your ball game! A walk off pass ball as they mob Krobe on the net! As the Eagles come from all the way back Scoring three runs in a crazy, crazy ninth inning to knock off the Newberry Wolves in game two, six to five. 